kind of a disappointing weekend. I was had an upsetting weekend, actually. It's, it's really hard, like, losing a pet, you know? And since I have sea monkeys, I can lose up to a thousand at a time. <laughs> I mean, sea monkeys come and go, but it never gets any easier. My favorite one, though, Charles, he survived. I was a little concerned about him at first because he wasn't growing the crown thing. <laughs> I took him to the vet, they ran all kinds of tests, they couldn't say what was wrong with him. They did refer us to a specialist, but I'm not really sure how a psychiatrist can help. <laughs> Maybe with his abandonment issues, I don't know. I think he's depressed, you know, because he has all these symptoms too. Like he mopes around the bowl all day, listens to Karen Carpenter songs. I don't think that's helping. I think he's depressed from the 999 funerals. That would depress me a little bit. I, uh, I used to work in an office, you know? And um, the thing is about when you work in an office, it's a little awkward because there's always like one guy there whose name you can't quite remember. I was just obsessed about that and I would think like, oh my God, what if one day like that guy saves my life? Because what will I say, right? What would you say? You'd be like, hey, thanks. You, <laughs> mister, <laughs> I'm just saying it'd be awkward. It would be awkward. I have, no, I, I have a lot less money in my wallet these days, you know, but I have noticed like the money on the, like the pictures on the money are getting bigger though, aren't they? I think the government did that for us so we